Um, so Rupert, a quick word on used cars, if we may. Um, are prices going to go down in the last quarter? That's an extraordinarily difficult question to answer. I think the, I think it's quite likely that the retail pricing will start to dip a little bit, and as a result of that, the wholesale pricing will also dip. Yes, and I think that the reason for that is that we will see some more cars coming to the used car marketplace um, and it, there will be a, a match of supply and demand. With more cars coming, you're gonna to need to make sure that that retail consumer is still there in the volume that they currently are. And I think there are a number of factors that are coming up in the next few weeks that might impact on the number of buyers that are, are in the marketplace. And what would, those, what would those main factors be? Are we talking end of furlough, br uh, income in Brexit, et cetera? Yes, I think probably Brexit is, is less of a concern. I think at the moment, the major issue will be around what will happen to people's pay packets at the end of furlough. What will happen to people's pay packets when they suddenly realise, uh, sorry, to their disposable income, once they realise that they're coming to the end of payment holidays and reality starts to uh, kick in a little bit. I think that from a, an employment perspective, there are a number of people that are concerned about their current job. Uh, there are other jobs out there. People are, in, in many cases, being forced to shift from what they used to do, used to doing, through to a new career. Uh, and it may take people a little while to become comfortable with that. And uh, if you're a betting man, where, where would you put the, uh, the, the up or down rise in terms of a percent towards the end of this year? Oh, now there's a question and a half. Uh, you know that Kazana rely on seeing data, and we don't we don't really give this sort of uh, uh, this sort of comment. Um, I, I, you're really pushing me on that one because it, I would suggest that what we will see over the coming weeks is that retail pricing, which has been increasing from the point that the dealerships reopened, will definitely stabilise. We're already beginning to see in certain sectors that prices are beginning to nibble downwards. What does that equate to? It could equate to between one to 3% per month, but that is very, very much um, uh, a forecast. Um, from our perspective in the last four weeks, we have seen certain sectors of the market begin to show a decline in pricing. And those are the sort of figures that we've seen during the course of those four weeks. The particular area of concern perhaps uh, is actually with older cars, which have been very, very buoyant because a lot of people needed that uh, cheaper form of transport to avoid themselves getting on buses and trains and being in the public. Now, actually, a lot of people have already serviced that need. They've already bought their cars. So that is where I think we are beginning to see the significant um, part of uh, decreasing in uh, retail pricing and therefore wholesale pricing. 